How to install the official build of Arrow OS based on Android 12 on the POCO F3 or the Xiaomi Mi 11X. Hey peeps, what's up? Manchi here, back with another video. And in this video, I'm going to show you how you can install the official build of Arrow OS based on Android 12 on the POCO F3 or the Xiaomi Mi 11X. Now, what are the prerequisites for this video? Well, for starters, you do need to have an unlocked bootloader and you need to have TWRP recovery installed. How do you unlock the bootloader? How do you install a custom recovery? Videos for those can be found in the description of the video. Next thing, make sure your battery is charged at least 50 to 60 percent. Do not, and I repeat, do not do this process if your battery is at 20 or 30 percent also make sure you have a backup of all your pictures videos and anything important which you have on your device because we are going to perform a format data and you are going to lose all your pictures videos and anything important which you have on your device next up if you go to the xda developers thread for official build of arrow is for the poco f3 or the mi 11x and you go down to the second post herein you will see that they do recommend a specific firmware now at the time of recording this video that firmware is 12.5.4.04 global similarly you have a recommended one of 12.5.5.0 for india and you have similar version numbers for the eu and the china builds and do mention they mention are newer so if and when miui 13 comes they might tell you to use the firmware for miui 13 now why are we talking about the firmware that is because me personally i recommend you come from stock miui and which stock miui do you use the version which you need to use should be greater than the version which is mentioned over here for the firmware and by stock miui i mean stock miui i do not mean custom roms like xiaomi eu or miui vn which are based on miui so here it is we are on stock miui and first of all you will go into settings password and security remove your screen lock fingerprint and face unlock once that is done go back go into me account and remove your me account once that is done go back go into accounts and sync and remove your google account once you have removed all the accounts and security measures make sure you reboot your device once now why are we removing all the accounts and security measures we're doing this because we are going from one rom to another and and I don't want you to be locked out of your own device next up what are the files which you need now all the files which you need are linked in the description of the video so for starters you do need the official build of arrow os based on android 12 for the poco f3 or the xiaomi mi 11x this here is the vanilla build because it says vanilla in the name if it says g apps in the name then you have downloaded the google apps build which means google apps will be baked in for the purpose of this video we are using the vanilla build and we are going to try the G apps as an additional package just to show you how it works if you do need google apps there is no harm in downloading the google apps build directly itself so here it is we have the official build of arrow os for the poco f3 or the mi 11x and then the other thing we have is g apps and we are using next basic g apps for the purpose of this video the next thing we need to do is we need to boot our device into recovery mode so first of all go ahead and turn off your device now once you've turned the device off press and hold power and volume up together till you see the poco logo once you see the poco logo let go of the power button keep volume up pressed and this is going to make sure that we boot into our custom recovery which in this case is twrp now once we have booted into twrp we will go into wipe advanced wipe here and select talvik and then swipe to wipe once that is done tap on the home button go into install now you need to navigate to the folder where you have downloaded all the files in case you download the files on your phone directly they will be in the download folder first of all select the rom itself this here is the vanilla build of arrow os official for the poco f3 or the mi 11x and make sure that inject twrp after install is checked if it is not checked then you are going to lose your custom recovery so again make sure inject twrp after install is checked and then swipe to confirm flash
once the file has flashed successfully we need to make sure there were no errors so here it is we are flashing arrow os no errors and then the text in red can be ignored next up we are getting image flash completed this means that twrp was injected without any errors next up tap on the home button go into install one more time and this time around select the g apps for android 12 and again make sure inject twrp after install is checked and then swipe to confirm flash now once google apps have flashed successfully we need to scroll up and perform some validations for starters here it is you can see that google apps were flashed without any errors and the next thing we need to make sure is scroll all the way up and here in note down the slot wherein the rom was flashed so this here is arrow os being flashed and as you can see it was flashed to the inactive slot b in your case it might be a then if you scroll down and have a look at where next g apps were flashed here it is you can see current boot slot is b this means that the rom was flashed to slot b and similarly google apps were also flashed to slot b which means everything is absolutely fine again text in red about injecting twrp can be ignored next up tap on the home button going to reboot and here and select recovery now that we are back into twrp we will go into wipe of course touch drivers do take some time to load so you do have to wait let us go into wipe format data type in yes tap on the check mark on the bottom right now as i mentioned earlier format data will result in wiping out of all your pictures videos anything important which you have on your device so make sure you do have a backup of all those things and the text which you see in red right now can be ignored as well and as you can see format data was performed without any errors we did get some more errors about failing to mount some partitions again those can be ignored at this point all you need to do is select reboot system and there it is we do have the arrow os boot animation on our poco f3 or the mi 11x and this of course here is the official build of android 12 the first boot up might take some time so you have to be patient and we have booted into arrow os let us go into settings dark mode is enabled out of the box now it does look pretty good in person but for the camera i think a light theme looks better we can go into about phone and here in effect go into the android version bam here it is android version is the vanilla one which is the official build which is the build which we had used and we can also go ahead and check if the easter egg of android 12 is working or not bam there it is working like a boss and you do have your play store over there which means that google apps were also flashed without any errors and there it is peeps that is how you install the official build of arrow os based on android 12 on your poco f3 or the mi 11x and that will do it for this video Hope my video helped you. Likes, shares and subscribes are appreciated. Feedback and comment more than welcome. See you when I see you.